ladies. Um, I just wanted to come on here and I haven't been on in a while. I've been just going through a lot of stuff and um, I'm, I'm so confused. I don't know where to begin. Well, let's say January 7th, I had my period, normal period. I was taking my ovulation. I took Femira this month. I was the from days three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I'm sorry, I'm like tired. I've been waking up the last three nights. I've been so restless. Well, anyways, so I took the Femira, you know, for the days three through whatever. It's five pills. Um, I got a positive O on like January 25th, 26th. Well, my cycle's been later for the last few months. It's been like clockwork 35 days. I've been starting my period. So I'm thinking I'm ovulating later. Well, I got a positive O on the 25th or the 26th, okay, of January. And so on February 8th, I'd been taking pregnancy tests. Been taking them, been taking them, nothing showing up. I mean, I've been taking them, ladies, like clockwork and no positives at all until February 8th. I took a digital and turned out yes. I was like, oh my goodness. So my friend of mine told me to take the test apart, which thank you. I love you. You've been wonderful to talk to also. And um, she said, take the uh, the test apart and look how line the dark the line is. And it was actually a very faint line on the on the digital that said yes, it was a faint line. And so um I went and bought some more first response, you know, because that way I can kind of make sure my line's getting dark until I can get in to see my doctor. And, uh, well, February 9th, I started bleeding, which is the next day. And I'm telling you, bleeding, it was bleeding. So I'm like, damn, I'm miscarrying again. And I'm not, I haven't been going to the ER, y'all. I haven't been going to my doctor either. So I've been getting positives and I've been bleeding and I've been taking the tests and I'll take them till the line gets where it's not there no more. That means it's not in my system. I'm getting tired of getting poked on. Um, it, I'm tired of getting my blood drawn, y'all. I've done had like nine miscarriages. So I'm just getting fed up. My doctor can't tell me nothing. Nothing's going on. It's getting through. It's making it to my uterus. They don't know what's going on. So I don't know. Well, anyways, on February 9th, I started bleeding. It, but I'm still taking my pregnancy test. You know, to make sure that she's going to leave my system now. Well, my lines continue to get darker. I know some people say, oh, that doesn't mean nothing. But in my case, because I've been doing this for two and a half years, they failed me. I mean, they failed other women. They haven't failed me. So, I continue to test and my lines are getting darker. Like, for real. So, I'm bleeding though. Like, bleeding, y'all. Blood clots, severely bleeding. So, I'm... Um, I'm a little nervous, so by Wednesday, which is February 12th, that's 8, 9, on the night that started bleeding, so 9, 10, 11, 12, three days of bleeding really bad. I finally go to the ER because my tests are still getting darker. I go to the ER, and my HCG level was 48, okay? And then they did a um, vaginal ultrasound, and they said that they saw a five-week two-day-old um, gestational sac inside the uterus with a fetal pole. Now, I, I'm speechless for that because it doesn't seem like I would have been that far along according to my period or my cycle. But um, that's fine. I've done quit bleeding. I only bled for the three or four days and it, it got heavy. The day I went to the ER is kind of the day it slacked off. I am now just sometimes when I wipe it's a little dark brown but um that's probably TMI but it's that's what it is well on February 12th when they did my HCG and it was 48 I they did they said there was all that stuff with no heartbeat because it's too soon my husband's walking up so okay okay I'm recording Want some of my water? Oh, mm -hmm. I got you some chicken. I got a drink. I get it in a minute. Okay. Love you, Love you too. Well, we went 
he, my husband's making me go to the ER at this time. He, he keeps making me go because he's confused. He's like, well, you can't explain this. And I, I couldn't explain it because usually whenever I'm bleeding, my tests show they get fainter. And this time they're getting darker. Well, we went back on the 14th, which was, um, they told me to come back for a follow-up because I'm still not going to be able to get into my doctor's office until the 24th. So, he's out of town. Great, right? Well, I go back to the ER and they do my blood work and the HCG is 105, which means it had doubled in two days, you know, so I'm optimistic. But the doctor comes in, he makes me do an ultrasound. This time they don't do vaginally, they just do regular. And the woman hurts me, y'all, I swear. She pushes down so hard and I'm telling her, I'm like, uh, the last time I did a vaginal, I was like, because I wouldn't be far along enough. And she's like, and she just kind of ignores me. And she's very rude, actually. And then she's steady pushing. And see, I've, I've got two older kids and I have C-sections. So I have that scar tissue down there. So she's like mashing on it and it's, it hurts so bad. And I swear, like, I'm sore in my uterus today. And that was two days ago. And I'm so sore from her pushing and stuff. And... It's just from the scar tissue, I believe. But um, my HCG was 105. And then, on top of this off, they see nothing in, in the ultrasound. There's nothing. The doctor's saying, I've passed it. And he, he said, sometimes after miscarriages, your HCG does go up. So, at, right now, at this moment, I'm in a loss. I did not take a pregnancy test this morning. Um, I just feel like I'm just going to wait and go to the doctor today. But I'm just probably going to go back to the ER and see what my HCG level is. So, I will get back with y'all and let you know if it goes up or down. Because, <clears throat> ladies, I've been on my journey for two and a half years. And my baby is 14. So, my tubes were tied for 12 years. So, and I was super fertile. Apparently, you see, I keep getting these positives, which can be chemical pregnancies or whatever they are but i've had nine different times of being positive and it's been a little over two and a half years so we're working on three years almost so i just don't know what's going on with this but this is the first time oh yeah this is the first time that they've ever seen anything in my uterus so i am optimistic so um if this pregnancy does not work and it falls through i'm still going to keep trying ladies it's not going to discourage me but um i thank y'all for watching and i'll keep y'all updated thank you